everybody today we have a very exciting video I have just got an absolutely amazing cutie pie little machine uh, that I'm going to be using to make some candles so today we are going to get making um, some beautiful candles so I have some things that I need I will show you uh, my little surprise I've already partly opened it because I just could not wait and I'm sure that you will understand once you see it now as you can see I'm in the far back room of my house this is where I keep all of the stock because as you all know my studio is busy and full of other things why we actually build the shop which hopefully will be here in December if not January so of course I have been off to pure candle supplies I have got some fragrance oils already and we also um, have some wax so I've got some wax from them just so that we can do this video so I can show you exactly what I'm up to now in front of me here is my new machine isn't this fantastic this is actually been gifted to me from this company um, to auto is what it's called and I'll leave all the links below if you want to purchase one of these direct um, from this particular company they did reach out to me and ask me if I would like one uh, to test it out and give my uh, opinion on it and of course I said look let's just pop it in the video I need to make some candles so um, it will be really really helpful so first of all it has its cute little lid um, it's a beautiful green color so it's like a forest green which is really cute this is what it actually looks like I haven't as you can see I haven't even unpacked it properly comes with the cord and then of course this is the dial so you have your green red which is on and off telling you when it's ready and of course then you've got your dial for your temperature gauge now this little hole here that you can see this is where we need to actually put the spout so I am actually going to get my husband to come in here later on and we will film that um, putting it all together because look and I mean I absolutely love this as a mom of lots of kids look how cute this is it's darling it's the tiniest um, little uh, you know uh, sort of hose thing you know and we are going to pop that in there so basically once you get it, it comes with the tools and everything and then this just obviously goes in here onto this little bit here but I won't put that in there because my husband will insist that I read the instructions I'm terrible at doing it um, but anyway we will go through all of that so now it does come with some white gloves which is super cool um, and it comes with the tools that you need as well as you know the little rings and things like that because we need all of these the washer uh, as well because that is all a part of putting this machine together and it's really easy honestly it just comes with a few little things like that I looked at it and thought wow that's so easy I thought it was going to be more tricky and then it does actually come with a booklet as well is sort of explaining everything um, and it's pretty good too because you can actually see all the instructions uh, so I actually like that because <laughs> I'm a person that is just terrible reading it and um, it's in uh, English which is really good for me because obviously I'm in Australia so let's pop this little box out aside because we don't really need that but that's how it comes um, and it came super fast like really fast I was actually shocked how fast it come to be honest so we have that I do already have some more candles I need to make some more of these little baby ones so I thought this machine will be perfect uh, to test some out and we will test the machine so I'm going to leave it here so that I can get my husband to put it all together and um, then we will get to work and we'll make some gorgeous candles so here is the machine everybody and I'm just going to give you a little close-up so that's what it looks like and then obviously when it's all melted the wax goes down this little hole in here and then of course you know you just use your spout um, your little pouring spout that we will connect to that and that's it so it's really good the lid goes on as I said it's a forest green it has in here all of your um, dials and things like that so I'm looking forward to using it so I will put all of the gloves and everything it came with as I said it came with this little spout it's just adorable and um, then like I said this actually goes into here but I'm actually going to put this back I, I actually want to lift this up 
so I think I'm actually going to uh, put this like on a little table thing or something because that way obviously you can put your jug or whatever underneath it to catch um, the wax and um, yeah so put something under it as well in case you're going to drop anything and like I said it does come with the washer and the tools and all the things we need so we will pop them there and when my husband comes inside I know he is going to read this full instruction because that's what he does he reads everything I think that's the engineer in him isn't it just um, making sure that you know he's getting everything done but anyway it's super cute um, and I am very excited to use it so I'm going to organize my little tin candles while we're waiting for this to be done and um, then we'll be on to the next stage all right so we're getting everything ready so inside it does have its little washer pushed in there and then on here I've just pushed this little bolt we're going to just tighten it to the end as you can see here and then literally you're just going to screw it in there I mean it seems very very simple to me so let's just put it in here it says um, clockwise so and literally this is all we're going to be doing I know I'm making it difficult because it's a little bit tricky to do it the opposite way so I'm going to just move the camera and put it in uh, it is easy but it's just because I am doing it with the camera in front of me so let me fix it now hopefully you can see here now I have attached it and basically you're just going to use this tool just to tighten it up here which I've already done that so you just do that and basically this is how you're going to use it but we will use that in a minute so now we're going to pop the lid on we're going to clean it out because it does say clean the inside of it out you should clean the inside of anything out before we put wax or anything like that in just to make sure it's totally clean but this one is ready so now let's get on to the fun stuff of course the making so now we have got the machine here ready the little plug has been put in or the little tap I should say and now we're just going to put in some wax I am using coconut soy so we're just going to fill it up um, so I've basically if you can see here it's look it's almost filled to the top like three quarters high I'm actually putting in uh, one kilogram so it's one kilogram of wax I reckon this could probably take two kilograms the time it melts down it will only half fill it with one so it is a little machine I'll put the lid on and then what we're going to do is the back of it actually does have a button so let's just turn it around so you can see and now we're just going to turn that on so basically just switching that on I've already plugged it into my power and you can see already the light is on and now I'm just going to zoom in close so you can see the temperature gauge a little more so if you can see the temperature gauge I am going to set this to 70 so you can see it's in Fahrenheit and degrees now I'm in Australia so we use um you know we just use degrees celsius so it's 70 but it says here that's 158 fahrenheit so that's what i want this roughly to be for coconut soy because so coconut soy is a little bit more sensitive now we're going to let this melt down um i will tell you how long it takes so i'm just going to test this at the moment and i'll come back and i'll tell you how long it took to melt it down now one very important thing that I did not tell anyone make sure you turn this lever to off I left it the opposite way and I spilt half of the wax out of it so do not do what I did um, it does clearly show on there what's on and what's off and I had it on on and came in and it was dripping so it um, it does melt really really fast but it, it's not hot or anything like that on the outside you can definitely touch it and I will show you it's only been a few minutes and already it is starting to melt so I think this is going to be a really fast uh, machine and going to be super duper helpful for me so even though it's a little baby one I reckon this you you know if you make even you know four five six candles at a go this would be really helpful because it does melt the wax super fast anyway I am going to clean up my mess I'm hopeless and then I'll bring you back 
so you can see everyone it's pretty much melted down besides a few tiny weeny bits so this has taken uh, 19 minutes it's taken to melt this down so it really doesn't take long at all and you can see that there could be uh, easily I think two kilos maybe even 2.5 kilos you could put in there um, as you go along but once you use one bit stir it around I guess you could just keep filling it up um, you know but anyway it is a small one but it's a super cute one and for me this is all I need because as most of you know I have used um, a crock pot or a slow cooker the whole time that's all I've ever used uh, to make my candles I've never had an actual machine so it's super duper helpful and um, a huge thank you to this company for reaching out to me because um, I was super excited and it's a great machine really easy to put together so I think it's taken like five minutes to put together so um, no hard work everyone if you're stressed about putting a machine together and literally just pour the wax in that's it uh, so anyway we are going to wait a few minutes we'll test the temperature and then I'm actually going to organize my wax so I'll turn the camera around so you can see exactly what I'm doing now let's pour some of the wax out so here I do have my scale and I've also got my uh, container on this as well so we're going to tear it out so it's torn out into mils and then literally I'm just going to turn the handle and see what happens um, eeny meeny miny mo. let's just see it definitely comes out super easy um, and I'm going to just turn it off a minute just so that we can see what we're doing um, and make sure you turn it off because as you know I didn't before we will just double check so it says 66 I'm going to and I, I will actually um, fix this so that you can actually see as well so there is the little spout here but you can see I've got it nice and close on here so let me turn the camera around so you can see a bit better so now so that you can see basically I've just got it on here and we're just going to turn the handle hopefully my big hand is not in the way and um, you can see it just easily comes out we will turn it off to catch any drips because you know all of these ones will drip a tiny bit um, so it is 160 so I actually decided that I need 184 in wax I'm going to be using 8% um, fragrance load Alright, so here I do have my scale. I've got everything on. It's measured the right amount that I actually want. Let's just double check how it's going. It's still at 65 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to leave this just to cool down a tiny bit. But in the meantime, if you haven't done it, organize your wicks and everything else, which I've already done those. We're also going to make this lovely one as well. So now we are going to be doing um, my new one here. So this is called Orchid Dream. And this is is a mix of florals um, a beautiful gilded orchid orchid which is rich but lovely and um, gentle as well it also has notes of ylang ylang uh, lavender as well and a tiny bit of rose and lily of the valley so this is a gorgeous one that I've actually made this fragrance myself so this is my own blend and like I said we are going to use eight percent I'm going to wait until it hits 60 degrees and then I'm going to add my fragrance then we want this to get down to about 50 degrees before I pour it because it is coconut soy all right we are ready everyone this is at the right uh, temperature so I'm going to tear it out and then I have already made my little concoction here which is like I said this is the orchid dream and I'm going to add the right amount in so I'm going to add in 16 gram or 16 mils I should say um, into here because that works out to be eight percent um, but you can use 9%, 10%, 5%, what, whatever you actually want to use. The one thing I do say about if you've got a really strong fragrance, you often don't need it to be, uh, you don't need to worry as much. So we're just going to take it off here. Now, when you're, if you want a super good, strong um, scented candle, make sure you do actually mix this for two minutes. I know we all think oh two minutes that's so annoying um, but I promise you you'll get a much better stronger candle if you do mix for the two minutes 
I used to think, okay, one minute's enough, half a minute uh, and so on. But the two minutes really is that golden sort of perfect, um, you know, time, I guess. And just do it slowly. But And I just use this little chopstick here. You can use whatever you like. I used to use silicon, but the silicon actually absorbs the smell. So then when you use it into another one, um, it's, it's not very good. Whereas this chopstick is actually lacquered. So, uh, and it's very good. I, I don't know where I even got it, actually. I think someone might have given it to me as a gift uh, a long time ago. And it was just sitting in the drawer. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. And then, of course, you know, we want to make sure that this is going to be at the right pourable temperature. So at the moment, it says 55 degrees Celsius. I would always do um, coconut soy, especially if you're using pure candles one. Um, I always pour it around 45 to 50. That is the, the best one. You want it to be as cool as you can get down, almost so that it looks kind of almost milky. Because if you pour it too hot, uh, what's going to happen with this is it's going to look bumpy and really ugly. Because this is the sort of wax that really does need it to be cool. And also why we're stirring it, the whole reason for stirring is you actually want this fragrance to grab hold of the wax molecules. Um, the bits that we can't actually see, but the wax needs to absorb and grab hold of the fragrance. Because if you don't mix it, the fragrance can just sit on the top. And when you pour it, you'll see little bubbles or little looks like uh, rain on top of your candles. And that often can mean you haven't mixed it in properly. Um, or it could mean that you add too much, that you've added too much. So don't always think you need to add 10% fragrance. Uh, when I started, I did that. That's what everyone does because that's what all of the suppliers say. But honestly, you don't need to do that. So we are just going to keep going with this. And you can mix it longer if you want. Usually I do kind of mix it until it gets to the right temperature because mixing it too is helping it to cool down a little bit. It's still at 52. Like I said, I want this to be really 45 to 50. Um, and we're not going to pour it before. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is getting a little bit murkier. It's not as clear as it was, which definitely is telling us it's cooling down. So yeah, so that's basically everything to do with this machine. Make sure you turn it off when you're finished. So I've turned it off now. Remember at the back of it, it does have a switch. So we need to just turn that off because if you leave this on all night, you might actually burn out the machine or something. Um, all of these machines are not meant to be on 24-7. Uh, and, you know, I guess this is probably a hobbyist one. Um, or if you're new at candle making, this would be a great one because it's much cheaper than the others. Um, I, I, like I said, I will put the links down in the description, but it's definitely much, much cheaper. Even though I didn't pay, I have seen the price for this one. Um, and it's, I think it's under $200 if I'm right. So it's a really good price, you know, and as I said, it's got all the things you need on. It's got the temperature gauge. It's got the little tap, the handle to make your life much easier. And if you turn it on and you've, the wax is stuck in here, because remember the wax is going to get hard overnight, you can just heat it up and see how it goes. Or if that doesn't work, just get your heat gun and go over the tap because the tap's metal. Um, yeah, so that's basically as simple as it gets, my friends. So let me double check um, how we are going. Right, so it's almost there, but I might bring you back in just a minute when I'm ready to pour. All right, it is 49.5, it says. Now, I'll show you what I do to each one of mine. I always measure everything uh, on here. So these small ones are 35. So I'm just going to you know, pour a little bit into this one. Uh, and often you'll get 38 or 36. Um, this is a much bigger one. So let me just do this one and we'll make sure we get the right amount. That one is looking a bit beautiful. And I am going to put like a centering tool on the pottery one. The other ones, because they're small, the wick will just stand up. It will be fine. And looking a bit beautiful, isn't it? Don't they look so cute? They look really, really lovely. Um, I think I don't have heaps more, but I might just pour some in this because I will make another batch of this after. And then we will top this one up. But that 
that is it my friends um for today so make sure you give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my gorgeous little channel because uh, i have actually had a look and there's a roughly almost 70 percent that don't subscribe but regularly watch my videos so if you want to support me just make sure you um go and subscribe and that way you'll see all my new videos coming up um as they do and um but i am going to bring you back in a minute once these particular ones have just you know looking beautiful i'll show you how i do them we will trim them up as well so i'm going to leave them i'll go and cook dinner and then i will come back and show you how beautiful they look <music> 